Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. The Washington Post article published on the Bloomberg donation alleged the former presidential candidate hoped the money would register 32,000 black and Hispanic voters, saying they're more likely to vote for Democrats. It doesn't smell good. It doesn't look good. Florida Chief Financial Officer Jimmy Petronas believes the effort could equate to paying for votes. And this is why I am asking the Elections Commission to investigate. Attorney General Ashley Moody also requested the FBI and FDLE look into the matter, citing the Florida Florida statute that prohibits offering incentives for voting. We reached out to FDLE, which says it's reviewing the attorney general's letter, but so far has not commenced an investigation. Florida Rights Restoration Coalition Deputy Director Neil Voles says the organization doesn't ask about the race or political leanings of the felons whose fines they pay. We know what our true north is, and our true north is is to engage all returning citizens, no matter what their political persuasions. Voles says the coalition hasn't even received any Bloomberg money. He chalks the latest allegations up to partisan politics. Making its uh, way into what should be an all-American issue, which is allowing people to become eligible to vote and expanding democracy. The coalition told us it has so far spent $5 million to pay the fines and fees of 5000 felons. There are estimated to be 750,000 felons in Florida currently blocked from voting because of outstanding costs related to their sentence. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Jake Stofan.